Good morning, folks. We've got three key science articles today, but we've also got a deep quake, storm activity, notes on YouTube notifying you of new video uploads, and of course, spaceweathernews.com, where we find the last 24 hours on the sun mostly quiet, except at the end, bottom left. Another compact field collapse in CME. Obviously, this one releases left behind Earth's orbit. And speaking of CMEs, looking at the solar wind, I know Dr. Phillips says that tiny CME missed Earth, but it did not. It was just every bit as tiny and nothingness as I told you it would be. Just before the UTC line on both Discover and ACE, there is a hitch in kinetic telemetry and the phi angle. That's the CME impacting, nearly 24 hours late, and indeed, there was no measurable geomagnetic effect. Still having eyes for the coronal hole stream of the central opening, expect that one to arrive at Earth within 36 hours, and it should be slightly more intense than that tiny CME. On to the earthquakes, where it's a good thing this one struck deep. The main concern, however, with a transition zone event here is that they have preceded all the recent major volcanic upticks in the region. Eyes on that the next few days. Hearts go out to Pakistan, while the western world watches the wind of tropical systems approaching the shoreline, monsoons have pounded this region, killing at least two dozen this week. Folks, the email notification function of YouTube for new video uploads has essentially been cut by more than half. In terms of getting notified, it's more than subscribing and more than clicking the notification bell. If you have too many of those, YouTube will presume you are indecisive and just not show you anything but what they want. You want to be notified of uploads? Be selective. Whether that includes this channel or not, take control of your awareness. Don't let Google choose for you. Let's get to our three science stories today, starting with the one I'd wish they'd released a day earlier, because this magnetic river feeding star formation seen by Sophia would have fit nicely into yesterday's magnetism discussion, wouldn't it? Here they are showing how the aligned fields with one part of the dark cloud feed material into the brighter star forming region of the cloud where the field lines are perpendicular. They run perpendicular to the current, by the way, which would be going through that star-forming region of the filament. Up next, a story about how much carbon humans are releasing, but which noticeably leaves out the recent stories about oversensitivity to carbon dioxide in the climate models. It conveniently leaves out what that's going to do to the heat transport through the oceans, and they left out a long-term perspective, which I'll deliver here. This is the temperature history of our planet. We are in a generally cold epoch the last million years, the 100,000 year ice age cycle. Let's get a closer look at that. We stay cold for quite a while, come up to get a bit of warmth, and then Earth regulates it back down. We are indeed due for the next drop, which will make the one degree of global warming look like nothing, considering we're talking about five, 10, 20 times that shift. And we are nothing compared to the power of nature. It is also a fact that in the 1900s we got the grand maximum solar activity of the Holocene, combined with the lowest volcanic cooling in a thousand years. Both are ending or have ended and begun to shift, and so will the climate after a bit more lagged heating out of the oceans this decade. Now, last but not least, folks, we've seen the gas accretion nova mechanism, the plasma instability nova mechanism, and we've hypothesized strong magnetic and dust interaction should be there too, especially since all of those are wrapped up in the galactic current sheet crossing our sun has every 12,000 years. Indeed, here they're saying it is not gas accretion for these blasts they studied. It's the magnetic interaction of a condensed and compact environment and the dust that comes with it. Folks, if we want to get technical, that's three mainstream NOVA triggers that all apply to the galactic current sheet. I am still happy to put the dust in the accretion category with the gas and the magnetic interactions as adding to the plasma instability, but hey, two complex triggers or three, I'm not sure that's really the important part of this story now, is it? The story is a cosmic disaster, and it's our most watched series at this channel. Find the playlist listed below this video or on our channel homepage, or at suspiciousobservers.org. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.